Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with AB. Today, Southern Smoke Boss and I, we decided to uh, do something a little different. We wanted to show people that we can uh, think outside the box. So we came up with, we found this uh, recipe. So we're going to try to recreate a dish called sashimi. So he and I, you know, we got all the ingredients. As you can see them right there, as me and him, we had a good time, you know, creating this dish. So just to keep it authentic, the recipe called for a live lobster. So you can have the freshest lobster tail, you know, for this dish. So here, Southern Smoke Boss and myself, we went over a plan on how to uh, make the incision to remove the tail, you know, from the lobster. And so after we come up with the plan, then we commence to go ahead and uh, start cutting them out. Now here's a warning. You know, this can be a little graphic, so what I'll do is I'll put in writing so that you can see where you can resume after we remove the tail. Now, after you have the uh, removed the tail from the lobster, Southern Smoke Boss and myself, we went over a plan where to cut. You can see with my finger, I talked about cutting on the side. That's where that little uh, outer membrane next to the shell, you know, you want to cut that on each side. And then you want to, you know, remove and peel that back. And then you want to remove the meat. And again, this is just so that you have the freshest lobster tail meat possible. Now, once you cut down the uh, the side, the left side and the right side of the membrane, you're able to like peel it back. I peeled from the top of the lobster tail towards the end. And as you can see, once you get it out, it exposes the meat. So there it is sitting inside of the shell. So the objective is to get the meat out. And so what I use after he and I discussed the plan, you can see, look, we fold the meat back, but you'll see some of the meat is still be like stuck to the, uh, some of the lobster meat will be stuck to the shell. So what we decided to do was use a spoon it just made it so much easier just to uh, scrape, you know, and get everything. And you want to get the complete lobster tail, as much meat out as possible. You know what I mean? Because that's going to come into play. Because listen, that is your dish. And also, you want to get that uh, the shell completely clean. So listen, the presentation on this dish is what, uh, that was the deciding factor on us picking this dish. But there it is, the lobster tail completely out. And then now we're getting ready to take that uh, shell and start cleaning it up. Again, the tool of choice was the uh, spoon. Easy to scrape, easy to handle. And so you just go through it, get all of the uh, lobster tail off of there. Reason being, you know what, I'll save it and let you guys see. But you want to get it as clean as possible. Now that we have the lobster tail completely removed from the shell, Southern Smoke Boss cut the lobster tail into thin slices. Now I'm gonna show you why we have to have them in thin slices in just one second, but you can just see his work and how, you know, how small the pieces are. And then listen, he's gonna take these sticks right here. Hey, listen, you're trying to stay authentic. Those are how big about the size that you want them to be. And again, we're gonna show you why. Here we set up a bowl with ice cold water with lots of ice and then on the stove we had a pot full of uh, boiling water. Now you remember we cut that lobster tail into thinly sliced cuts. We're going to take those thinly sliced cuts, put it into the hot water for 15 to 20 seconds, come out of the hot water and then immediately put it into this ice bath right here to stop the cooking process. Just explain to you the process how we're going to go into the hot water. We're going to cook it for maybe about 20 seconds. After that, maybe 15 to 20 seconds, we just want to lightly cook them. Again, we're going to come out of the hot water and put it immediately in the, uh, we got an ice bath right there, and that's to stop the cooking process. So, we're going to do that, and then we're going to get right into, the, uh, get right into that fancy stuff with that shell. So, check me out.
Here you see this pan right here has hot grease in it and we're going to use that to go ahead and fry the shell. And this is what's going to give it its color. And so the reason we took out the uh, meat is you can't get the meat and the uh, lobster shell for the presentation to be right. You know what I mean? The color and the, uh, the cook time just doesn't match up. So we take that, we turn it over. Listen, it's important that you keep the tail and you flare it and then you drop it into the pan like that. And as you can see, this is what gives it its red, you know, look, that red oranges look. And that right there is your presentation. Here, Southern Smoke Boss and myself use the spoon to just fish out our lobster tail that was in our cold water. We take that out, put it on the napkin, and then we use another napkin just to uh, pat it dry. Here, what we did was we just lined up our ingredients, everything we're going to use to start assembling our dish. I know I keep calling it a dish, but I know it's going into a martini glass, but just check it out. Southern Smoke Boss and myself, we tried to replicate the presentation from a picture that we saw. So listen, we got, we got the uh, martini glass, and then you go ahead and add your ice. That leaf right there, what you see, we used a pineapple, you know, the green that's on top of the pineapple. We just took one of the blades out and used that. So I'm assuming that you can use any type of, uh, it's up to you how you want to, pre you know, present your dish. And then remember how we uh, deep fry that uh, lobster tail? There you go. The lobster tail shell. So look, you stick that in there. And then the green right here that you see we're using, that's just kale. So we put kale in there, open it up, and then you come back. So when you open it up, it lines the inside of the lobster tail and then you, in the inside of the kale, that's where you put your lobster tail. You know what I mean? Uh, now I understand, like when you go out and you get these exotic, expensive dishes, I do know now why these dishes cost so much. Now you see us just using shredded uh, carrot. Again, this is just for the presentation. You know, you might like shredded uh, carrot, you know, it's up to you, but it looks good with that, you know, that bright orange. And then we use a lemon wedge, you know, just to add to the, you know, the front, just to bring it to just a little bit more color. And that right there is my famous uh, J.O. We thought about putting that on the lobster tail, but we said we'll just do that individually. So in this black jar right here, that's that uh, black caviar. Uh, myself and Southern Smoke Boss, we've never had caviar before. So listen, we want to keep it true. We're going to make it the way we've seen it. And then at the end, listen, check it out. We are going to eat it. You know what I mean? But we got a lot of pictures to take. So put some uh, ice on the back of it, you know, just to make the tail stand up and to get it, keep it from resting against the glass. And there you have it. There's your uh, presentation. This is our version of sashimi. Hey, I hope you guys like this. And, uh, you know, spread the word. Let everybody know Southern Smoke Boss and smoking and grilling with AB can do something outside the grill. Laugh out loud. Alexa, what do you think about the dish we created? Smoking and grilling with A, B, and Southern Smoke Boss, you guys created a beautiful dish.